is the first day of the 14-day lockdown ordered by the Borono State Government and residents in Meduguri are staying indoors. TVC News correspondent Jesse Tafida visited various areas of the state to assess the level of compliance and also get views of security operatives on duty. This is Maiduguri, the Borno State capital, on a regular day. It is home to thousands of people and IDPs. This is Maiduguri today. Residents are staying indoors and roads are almost deserted following the 14-day lockdown ordered by the state government. The lockdown is part of efforts to contain the spread of the coronavirus in the state. My daily commute to work, which usually takes about 20 minutes, was done in less than 10 minutes today because of the free flow of traffic. This is the popular Medjugorje Monday market, which on a normal day used to record high influx of people. Looking around me, it is surprising that the place is quiet and calm on a weekday such as this. It means that residents of Medjugorje, the Borno state capital, are adhering maximally to the lockdown order by the Borno state government. Security operatives, including the army, police, Nigerian Security and Civil Defense Corps, and civilian JTF, mount roadblocks on most of the popular roads, supervising vehicular movements. Some make their rounds in patrol vehicles. The Borno State Commissioner of Police and government officials expressed happiness with the level of compliance by residents. Since as early as 7 o'clock I've been going around, I can see the deployment perfectly well done. Every person should be in compliance with the order because one, it is for self-goods and uh, for also the goods of every other one. We are not telling people to stay in front of their houses. Whoever violates or violated this order, obviously the person will be sanctioned, regardless of whomever the person is. The situation is very encouraging, but only for some challenges here and there. Well, some of the challenges we are having is the uniform men, who feel because of the power of the uniform, they will violate the lockdown order. However, we have reported them to their high authority for them to take action on this. Apart from this, we have allowed all vehicles on essential services. There are a few recalcitrant members of the public that violated the order and we are taking them uh, in accordance with the law. Those on essential duties are allowed to render services. On Monday night, April 20th, Governor Babagana Zulum joined several other states to declare a lockdown in a bid to curtail spread of the virus that has turned around the lives of millions of people worldwide. As the lockdown continues, many are optimistic its rapid spread across the country will be contained. Jesse Tafida, TVC News, Maiduguri.